Welcome to the TCU instructional video detailing how to import and use your custom signature file in Acrobat DC. You will need to know the location of your signature file. Also, if you use a JPEG of your physical signature, you will need to know the location of that file as well. Begin by opening up Acrobat DC. On the menu bar, click Edit, and then Preferences. Highlight the Signatures category from the list on the left. Under Identities and Trusted Certificates, hit the More button. At the top of the window, hit the Add ID button, and select My Existing Digital ID from a file. Click Next. Browse to the location of your Digital ID file, and enter the password associated with it. This is the same password you use when signing documents. Now click Finish. Your digital ID has been imported into Acrobat and can now be used to sign documents. To configure the appearance of your signature, click the More button underneath Creation and Appearance. Under Appearances, click New. Enter a title for this appearance, and configure it to your liking. You can choose whether to include details such as the date, location, and more. This is also where you can import the JPEG of your physical signature, if you have one. When you are finished, click OK. Your custom appearance is now saved. If you wish, you can set multiple appearance configurations. Click OK, and then, OK, to exit. In order to sign a document using your digital ID, you must use the Certificates tool, not the Fill and Sign tool. By default, the Certificates tool is not located within the shortcuts list on the right-hand side. To add it, click Tools, on the top of the screen. Find certificates under Forms and Signatures. Click on the drop-down arrow under Certificates and select Add Shortcut. When you are ready to sign a document, click on the Certificates shortcut. Next, click Digitally Sign on the ribbon at the top. You may get a pop-up window with instructions on how to draw a box for your signature. Click and drag a box in the area you wish to place your signature.
Next to Appearance, you can select a custom signature appearance, if you have created one. You can also choose whether or not to lock the document after you sign it. Enter your signature password and hit sign. It will now ask you to save the PDF. If you wish to retain a copy of the unsigned document, change the name of the file. Otherwise, click save and overwrite the original file. The document is now signed. Thank you for watching this TCU instructional video.